This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at free radical substitution reactions of the alkanes. Alkanes such as octane, which is C8H18, are relatively unreactive. The first reason for this is that the carbon to hydrogen bond is a non polar bond. The difference in electronegativity between the carbon and the hydrogen atom is only 0.4 units, which makes it a non polar bond. The second reason is that the carbon to carbon and carbon to hydrogen bonds are relatively strong. They have average bond enthalpies of 348 and 412 kilojoules per mole respectively. The two types of reactions that alkanes undergo are combustion reactions, which were covered in a previous video, and free radical substitution reactions. So alkanes undergo free radical substitution reactions. In a substitution reaction, an atom or group of atoms is replaced by another atom or group. Free radicals or radicals are species with unpaired electrons which are represented by a dot. So here we have an example of a chlorine free radical which has an unpaired electron. On the right we have the usual representation of a chlorine free radical. Here are two more examples of free radicals. We have the bromine free radical and the methyl free radical. Free radicals are highly reactive species due to the presence of unpaired electrons. Free radical substitution reactions occur in three steps, initiation, propagation and termination. Alkanes such as CH4 methane and C2H6 ethane react with halogens such as chlorine and bromine to form halogenoalkanes and dihalogenoalkanes. In this video we'll look at the initiation, propagation and termination steps in the reaction of methane with chlorine to produce chloromethane and hydrogen chloride. The first step in the reaction is initiation, which occurs in the presence of UV light. So in this reaction the bond between two chlorine atoms is broken in the presence of UV light to produce two chlorine free radicals. This is known as photochemical homolytic fission, in which the bond between the chlorine atoms is broken by UV light, with each chlorine atom taking one electron. So here we can see the Lewis structure of a chlorine molecule. In the presence of UV light, the single covalent bond between the two chlorine atoms breaks, and each chlorine atom takes one electron from the bond. This produces two chlorine free radicals. The next step in the reaction is propagation. These reactions keep the chain reaction going. In the first reaction, methane CH4 reacts with a chlorine radical to produce a methyl radical and hydrogen chloride. In the second reaction, the methyl radical reacts with molecular chlorine to produce chloromethane and another chlorine radical. The chlorine radical produced can then go on to react with another methane molecule. The final step is termination. These reactions remove the free radicals from the system. So in the first reaction we get two chlorine free radicals reacting together to form molecular chlorine. In the second reaction two methyl radicals react together to form C2H6 which is ethane. And here we have a methyl radical reacting with a chlorine radical to produce chloromethane. 